<clears throat> Morning, man, bud seats. Morning. You know what? I am really liking this new roll around chair I got. Yeah, nice. nice. It's totally off subject, but uh, got jealous of mine, I can huh? I can sit down and boss you now. <laughs> and you know the best best part about this? Yeah. We're on the, we're on the same we're on the same level now. We were. Oh, there we go. Let me get up to your level. <laughs> there we go. What you? Oh, uh, don't go any higher. Yeah, what you did. You forgot as yeah. my chair goes higher than yours. So, <laughs> all right. Enough of the nonsense. We are back on our. Uh, what are we gonna come? Oh, yeah. I about <laughs> what you guys didn't see is I about crashed and burned. <laughs> oh, I one wheel didn't roll. Yeah. All right. Well, have we decided what we're naming this thing yet? We ain't decided what we're naming it. It's called. Well, this. I got a paint scheme that I'd love you to do on this. You want to tell them what that is right now? Well, it'd be kind of like the candy cane, the barbershop little thing where it's red and white and swirls down the pole. Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe you guys will comment down below and give us a saw. We got the Mad Max saw, the saw of death, the, what the H-E double hockey sticks you thinking? Yeah. <laughs> okay, back to business, is business, business at hand. Last video, we uh, got the gearbox and motor assembly mounted on this but we still got a long ways to go before it's uh before it's usable so you ready to scratch your head and figure it out i think so you know it's going to be a good day whenever i start the conversation off with you know what i'm thinking <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> Oh, so I can read your mind. What, what am I thinking then? Well, you're thinking this is like an interview style. Video, yeah, right? you're, you're thinking right now. Hmm, how are we going to do this? Because all my work and all your work is all within a foot. Well, this is true. Yeah, but here's what I'm thinking. Because I'm yeah, going to tell you. Anyway. So the problem with this is and they can't see it because they're sitting. But the problem with this yeah. is we've done such a good job that we got to like keep the theme going. Yes. And we can't have keep rough edges and we can't yeah we gotta keep, keep it class the solid depth yes. has to be classy yeah so we pushed ourselves to a whole new limit here yep like, I like that. do you think there's a category somewhere for show lip song and yeah <laughs> <laughs> like we can enter this thing? Hey, yes i think we need to you know the other thing i was thinking is look at the engineering we can do with leftover parts do you know what we can uh -huh. do if we could actually design our own parts yeah yeah no dangerous. kidding all right, so here's where I'm going with this. I got a, I got a, I got a thing. I got a reason for this. So, what we? Sloppy cut. You did. Well, this is your shark. <laughs> this is the remainder of your shark fin cut yeah, over there. Thanks a lot. <laughs> One thing I noticed that we both really didn't like whenever we had this on here, is this plate stuck out past the the blade. the blade. So I think we can trim this plate off right here where the blade's at. That will also allow us to eliminate this smaller bracket and we can put another bigger bracket in. And at that point, this bracket, this bracket is going to be as strong as this. So I think we can keep this clean without a whole lot of gusseting. Yes. I agree. You know what we could probably do if we wanted to? Because we could probably take this off the end of it, bolt a point on here and use this thing as a ramming rod. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's tough as what this thing's built. So... Um, all right, so I think the first thing that we need to do is cut another one of these mm -hmm. to, uh, what is that, two and a half? Two and a half, not three and a half. They didn't see it on video, so it didn't happen. Did you go over and show where you wrote it down for me on that other piece of plate? I think I scratched that Eight out. by three and a half, and it ended up being, what, five by <laughs> two and a half? <laughs> yeah. I was on the phone, I was distracted. <laughs> All right, so I think you want to cut that like a little bit shorter, like two and three eighths or something? Yeah. Uh, and then we'll get that tacked in there. We'll cut this one out. Then we can clean all this up and it'll take care of that. Yeah. All right. So while you're cutting on that, um, the next thing we need to do is get this cover figured out, right? Yeah. All right. One thing at a time. Let's, uh, let's whack that, cut, tack that in there and then we'll, uh, we'll go forward. Yeah. Well, I'll be working on that while you are going to be working on something something else yeah doing what i do best is cutting and fitting and making you look good <laughs> don't worry i'll take care of them one inch caps <laughs> all right well here's cutting on that 
I think we can go ahead and remove this gearbox because we got to trim this bracket off so our cover will go on. Well, now that you got that welded off, you want to see if our engineering works and our motor comes out? Yeah. Yep, I sure do. You know, if we it don't should. do this, we know it works, right? Yeah. It's the wrong way. It's hot down in there, so be careful. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's gonna come out there with these. I can already tell. Yep. Yep. I mean, would you just, would you just look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Look, we knew what we were doing. Now, I did get scared because there is a gap but at first I was thinking it was setting solid for some reason in my head and I was like, oh no, that ain't That's why you keep me around. Yeah, but here, you can have this washer. No, it's hot, I'm not, I'm not touching <laughs> your washer. All right, well, I'm gonna get okay. that welded out. Yeah, I'll do, let's, you wanna roll back around and I know you're trying to get ahead of me because I had a random phone call here. I had to take care of crashes. So. Yeah, I want to get, that's all done, so this is ready to be cut out. Cut out, perfect. Yeah, so we'll get that welded and then we'll flip well, it Let's flip over. and flop and weld and cut and chop and all the above. Yeah. Yeah, you got a line there, you got a line there, you got a straight line, you got a rounded line, a rounded line, zigzag, straight line. The main uh, part is it'll be so much prettier when I'm done. <laughs> just stick around and hey, find out. Just do not cut this line, please. Right there? Yeah, do not cut that. Come on now. I really wish I had the proper gloves for this. Huh. that new. Ow. How'd that feel? That's the best. Yeah, let's go ahead. Come right off. We can pretty near stuff while we're at it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and get that. I like that. More hose. Oh. Whoa. 
brought the wrong weapon to the fight. There we go. Yeah. Oh, it's your well that's holding. Well, you want the well to hold, right? That's exactly what it's holding. It ain't my torch and it's your welding. <laughs> right. right on my stool. Right, see right there's your weld. Yeah, right there you hit my stool. I don't see nothing. You did, you did. I see nothing. You cracked it. My stool's fine. All right, so right. let me think here a little bit. My biggest concern at this point is this right here is going to be our weak spot. So if we were swinging this around and whammo smacko hit a tree, do you think it's worth cutting a gusset yes. to spread that load back? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we need to. We need that, bracket, to that. that bracket looks awesome. Yeah, looks a lot better now. I cleaned that up really nice. Yeah. All right, so I need to bring that back past this notch down here, right? Yeah, so your notch. Which is gonna be right in here somewhere? That's where All right. notch that. Yeah. Well, you want to start cleaning that up? I'll see what I can cough up on that. Yep. All right, guys, this is the piece of steel that was out of the middle of those channel lines we cut for up there. Quarter inch thick. I think that should be just what we need to uh, make those brackets. It'll be three inches tall on this end. It'll be one inch tall on this end. It's about 16 inches long. So we'll get those cut out, cleaned up real quick. Tack them on there and see what they look like. So, here I am, <laughs> over here grinding, trying to get everything caught up, and you're over there making arrows? <laughs> That's an interesting piece. <laughs> Not really necessary. Hey, right, is it an arrow? Or is it a, is it a dagger whenever I get mad at you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's an arm on the big clock we're gonna make. Oh, I tell you. Uh, do you know what that'd work good for? Remember our sundial we were gonna make? Yeah. 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 You know, one well, of these days, there if we ever is. get a bigger shop, you know what would be super handy? <laughs> One of them little plastic tables. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I tell you what, we'll put that piece with my shark fin. Oh my goodness. All right, give me the pieces uh, I actually made. Here are the pieces you made. So, in theory, this one here may be just a little bit smaller than his big brother, but I know a guy can weld a gap, so I ain't too worried about it. Oh, you know what you did? What? No wonder you cut the notch upside down on it. See, I had it curved on the end. The curve's going down and set up. I cut right where you told me to cut. Uh -huh. I, that's all I did. You told hey. me to cut here, cut there. No, yeah, right no, here, yeah. no worries. I know a good welder. Can you weld that gap down here? Oh. It'll be fine. That about inch and a quarter gap. I'll it's get a that. quarter of my high tag it. All right, you like it? I like so. Can't see, are you good? Yeah, you're following right down. Need to come in a little bit, maybe. Yeah. Right, right there? Yeah, right there. Okay, eyeball. You wanna weld that side out or you wanna go ahead and tack this side on both at the same time? Right like that. Tag it. Like it? Yep. Eyeball. All right, hold on. Tag it. Eyeballs. I need to, hold on. Fine tune adjustment. Fine tune adjustment. Yep. It's got it right there, don't it? 
Yep. Now let me get a tackle pile. If you like that. Yeah. I mean, I know that's not much, but that's that's another half inch of steel protect us against an issue. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. All right. While you're welding that out, I'm gonna start getting what we need to for our cover down here. Yeah. So here's the next thing we need to figure out. We need to put this piece back on, make it removable, basically make it accessible to get in there and work on our hydraulics, our gearbox, blah, 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 blah. So what I think we're gonna do, so we'll take this piece of flat bar, cut three, or uh, four, excuse me, three inch pieces here. We'll use these as tabs. Basically we'll weld it on to the inside of the tube, let it overlap this an inch and a half. And then uh, we may tack this in place get uh, the drill set up and we'll drill four bolts down through there and probably weld the nuts on the inside and that should hold everything in place so let me get these cut hope by the time i got these cut aaron's got that welded and then we'll uh get that process started all right man behind the scenes you got your welding done i got you some fancy tabs cut but i'm thinking maybe before we put these tabs in I also cut this fancy piece. Yeah, watch out. Fancy piece to go on the end to keep stuff from going down our tube. Yeah. But uh, my hole is offset, which means it has to go either this way or this way. You don't remember. No, but I bet you if you put that gearbox in yeah. there, we can figure it out real quick. real quick. All right, you hold my people, I'll get my gearbox. All right. This gearbox is not getting any lighter either. I bet not. You sure your wheels are hot if I put this down in there? Yeah, I hope. You know what really would have been nice? If you would have cooled this off for me. I tried. All right, so we get all the holes lined up. Yep. So this, if I did my job right. Oh, look at that, would you? Yeah. Look at that. All right. Tag it. Now. That's going to work perfect. Yeah, go Double. ahead. All right. So we know it fits here. I wonder if I should... Uh, hmm. Should we make sure that collar goes on there? Yeah, it might not be a bad idea. Because we may need to move it out. Yeah. All right, I'm going to people again. Yep. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. I don't know if we're lucky or good, but I'll take you the one. Yeah, yeah. Right, now, the only other thing we gotta make sure goes down on there, which it shouldn't be an issue, is this. Yep. Oh, look at that, would you? Oh, yeah. Would you just look at it? You got that on right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, you can, uh, I can uh, knock you out. <laughs> I'm just Actually, asking. You get technical, it's not. It goes, no, it is right, because that's yeah. where you tack the thing on the street. Yeah. Enough. yeah. All right. I mean, look at that. Yeah, that's nice. That is super nice. Yeah. I like that. Okay. All right, we gotta get we gotta get to work here. Yeah. So now should be able to tack that right there like that. Yeah. Uh, I, I need you to not weld here. I know. Uh, I'm gonna let you have this so I don't splatter your camera. Up. All right, right. Eyeballs. All right, does that look fairly straight even though nobody's ever going to see it? Yeah. Okay. So then we need to put this one in here to match that. Yep. All right, hold on. You're just going to have to eyeball me because there's no good way to do this. I like it. You like it? Yeah, I think so. Eyeball. It looks really good from back here. Yeah, looks good. And this one will go 
The hot? No, I got a burr in there. Oh man, sympathy is not on this side of the pipe in case you're wondering. Oh, I better go. Oh, uh, I, hey, I seen you coming. Going? I seen you coming. <laughs> I thought about it as soon as I said it. All right. Eyeballs. You need to start saying eyeballs and fingers. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> there's a right there. It looks crooked for some reason. Right there? I get yep, there. okay. Go for it. Eyeballs. Yep. All right, so what I'm thinking is now, let's pull our gearbox out, weld all these out. Yep. And then we'll put that on here and just tack it into place. Then we'll drill holes through everything. Yep. We do need to pay attention to where we put um, our, it won't matter where we put our nuts, they interfere. So we can't put them right there because they'll hit the, uh, mm -hmm. other than that, we're good though. Yeah. Here. Go all the way in. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's your little, but see, I think, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to name your burr Karma. How's Karma feel? We got tweezers over. Yeah, I know it. I, I see him. He's he's right there sticking good. Here we go. I got him. You got him. All right. All right. Good deal. You're back to work. Right. Well, man behind the scenes. You got that in there, right, way? Yeah. Oh, you got our snug there, do you, bud? Yeah, it's a uh, real snug. How? We need a little, little persuasion. Oh, that's tight. Yeah. I'm gonna have to get a little tap. What do you want, the big persuader or the little persuader? Yeah, well, I think I'll use the little one. <laughs> little one? Little ones are no fun. Well, lucky for you, the little one's first up. Yeah. So. A little tappy tappy? Yep. Yeah. That is tight. Yeah, how did that get so tight? I mean, I mean, like I'm talking really tight. I think it's right here. Let me go back up again. Now we're gonna do body work on a tree saw. What the heck? So we gonna drive it off in the end? We'll drive it on. I don't know how he's gonna get off, be able to get it off. Oh, I understand why it's so tight. I don't either. What do you think if we took the uh, grinder and just kind of chamfered those a little bit to where it kind of helped it get down on there? Yeah, we can do that. That might be our best bet, shouldn't it? Yeah. We should cool it off and put it in the freezer. That's right. It guaranteed yeah. to fit then. You better believe it. Your eyeball say it's gonna fit. That's good. All right. <clears throat> you gonna do the honors? Yeah, I'm off. Okay. Yep, goes that way right there. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that now, would you? Heck yeah. That's it. There it goes. Uh, tap this side down this shade. I like it. Oh yeah. All right, so what do you think? Tack that, put a couple small little tacks on that. I got yeah. lines marked right here where we need to drill our bolt holes. 
And then uh, get our old typhoon buddy back out. Yeah, I think so. All right, that's it. That's gonna be, when this is all said and done, that's gonna be one clean look. Yeah, it is. One super clean look. Tack number one, I'm gonna put a little tack right here. Same on this side. Yep. Uh -oh. It rocks back and forth. I think it's going to have to be good enough. Enough for me. Too bad we have to get in there. We just can't weld it back off. Yeah, yeah, I know it. <laughs> All right. Got it where you want it, right? I think so. I was going to cheat it down as far as we could. I can't, I mean, we're going to plate on this end. We got plate on this end. So we're just going to have to yeah. hope our imaginations got as good. Here we go. Take that up. That ain't good. Yeah, I think you got it. Because this here needs to come out now. Okay, so it's good. Yep, gotta get our slug out. And then since we got two pieces of metal there, now you should be able to go through the second one. Yep. You ready? Yep. Now we just gotta do that three more times. Yep. Well, there's uh, one side done. We'll rotate and do it again. Yeah. That's it, that's uh, four perfectly placed holes. Yep. So what, uh, you think we need to cut our tacks now and then get our nuts welded on the inside? Yep. And then, uh, then once we get our nuts welded on the inside, I think we need to assemble this thing and make sure we don't have any interference issues. Yeah, and hopefully we don't. Oh, buddy. I mean, we got the top two guys in the shop on it. Yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> Tappy tappy, huh? Come off. Oh yeah, look at that. Right. Beautiful. Now don't get the left and the right side mixed up. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this right here and I'm gonna mark uh... <laughs> Hey, no. What? See, you got me all messed up. You can't get them mixed up. I got well, this tack here. Well, you can as long as you leave your tack there. That's yeah, your, that's your, so tack, right? instead of marking it, you're using an existing yeah. part. <laughs> All right, man, behind the scenes. Does this look like a trash can? Huh? 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 Quit throwing trash in my toolbox. <laughs> Let's see. Is your name Cobalt? Close enough. Or is it ball bearing? <laughs> 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 All right, here's my, I've been down this road before and I know what happens. So if we take this bolt and just hold a nut on the other very side. Very smart thinking, by the way. I am very impressed with you. And just hold a nut on the other side. We'll keep it centered in the hole, but it'll draw. So. I'm thinking we double nut it, like so, 
That should keep it true in the hole, shouldn't it? Yeah. So if you tighten that down. And you know what the best part is? You don't get the option to burn my fingers. <laughs> it's on itself. <laughs> so, you like that? Yeah, so you're gonna weld that off. Yep. The only thing I know to do at this point is weld all those nuts on there, put the gearbox back on, mm -hmm. put the motor and the drive shaft back in, yep. and uh, pray this all. There's a lot going on in this small little area right there. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Eyeballs. How much do you think it'd be on them? You think that's plenty? Well, plenty until we get this one on. I'm gonna rotate it. Rotate it. Maybe I can get down on that back side a little bit. Okay, so that should come out of there. That should come out of there. That should go in there. Ready? I'll tell you what, man. You hang out with me enough. Oh, man. Look at that. Perfectly centered. That's a thing of beauty. All right, so you guys get the point. Let's get the other two done. And we'll start reassembling. You ready for reassembly? I'm ready for reassembly. All right. Let's just see how easy it goes in. See if we would uh, make it as a Kubota engineer. Well, if we're going to be Kubota engineers, we got to do it three or four times yeah. and still leave it wrong. <laughs> All right. Cause this was my part that I was worried about. But as you can see, we got plenty of room. As right somebody else there. said. Yeah, well, I don't wanna go there, but <laughs> anyways. But this this is where it does take two people. Not necessarily. It, it wouldn't. It takes one talented person or two not so talented people. Yeah. So like, there's two of us like here. Like you so. could actually, I could actually be doing that, but there's two of us here, so why not? You're trying to take advantage of me, ain't you? Yeah. <sighs> All right. Well, that went well. Let's zip that down real quick. Look at this. It's even impact friendly. Yeah. Probably should have put a shorter bolt there. What's famous saying? That ain't going nowhere. <laughs> no, it ain't. Okay. Now this is gonna have to be somewhat assembled as an assembly. Okay. Because I think we don't have a slip joint, so. Yeah, but. Keep going, or get close, there you go. Okay, so there's that. So I think what you can should be able to do, hopefully. Do you want to go ahead and get that all the way locked in? No, because I think that's going to have to slide to get that gear box in there. That's my prediction. Yeah. Nope, you can't do that. You got to get that in first and then put that down in there. I'll never go. Nope. There you go. Now we got to hope. Okay. Well, you gotta hope that slides in far enough to clear that shaft down below there. So might be our might be our flaw in our plan right here. Yeah. I think it's gonna work. We're just gonna find the right combination. Yep. Oh, I know exactly what the combination is. The uh, combination's gonna be the motor's gonna have to be the last piece installed, man, Hudson. So. What we gotta remember is you gotta start at the beginning and work to the end. Yeah. Follow me. Now, I don't know if them bottom two bolts are gonna be impact friendly after we're done. Mm -hmm. No. So if we slide that back out of the way. Yep. Slide this on there. Ah. 
I actually put the whole thing yeah. together. Let me slide this on there. Like so. And then we slide this up in here. Like so. Look how easily that all goes together. And we'll get shorter bolts. To go on those other two holes. That's it. Mm-hmm. Well, that looks close. I hope that misses. I think it will. Yes, it is. Honestly, it didn't go in too bad. No. Those two nuts down there, I'd call them borderline hard to get to, but- Not really. Universal. With that I universal. Mean, uh, I mean- It was a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. It, it was flawless. So these bolts here go in here now. And that needs to be pulled back. As far as we can get it that way. Get these nuts go on there. Uh, you wanna grab me a 15, 16 wrench? Yeah. I think this is what you call, uh, what is it, 10 pounds of crap and a five pound bag? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here we go. We need to get that shear bolt in and that shear bolt will set where we set that set screw. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That should, in theory, that's gonna be tight on there, but I think it's gonna make it. We need to turn this, tighten that set screw on that shaft, and that should be all, should be all good, right? Yeah. Uh... Need to hook them up, don't we? Well, then they're building pressure on the caps. Oh. All right, we got our shear bolt in. Gonna tighten her up. Ready? Right. No, oh, I just need my wrench back now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, ready? Oh. Thank you. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, they say. Okay, shear bolt's in, wrench is off, so now we need to turn this. Oh, that sounded like oil. Yep. There should be a set screw right there, right, you can get to? Yep. So we tighten that down. Our drivetrain should be capiche. Ready to go. Ready for a test run. Almost sounds scary. Oh, 
All right. Mission accomplished. Yes, it is. Put our caps back on for now so we don't lose a bunch of oil somewhere. Yep. And we didn't even make a mess. Oh no, pros. All right, man, behind the scenes, let's do a little test run here and do our best to our ability judgment. It's about the farthest it's gonna go in. We still got clearance. Yeah. I think we're gonna be good. So now the next question is, Will all of our bolt holes line up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They should. Look at that, it's sliding on that bear and butter all the time. Yep. That was almost no tools required. Need, need a tap? Just a little bit. I'm talking just need a little tap. bit. Everything's a hammer when you need it to be. <laughs> All right, this side needs to go down just a little bit more yet. I mean, behind the scenes, this is our one missed calculation. Mm -hmm. And it is... Need that was. Yeah. So, whenever this goes down on there, it is basically sitting on... We knew it was going to be close, but it's closer than what we thought. It's basically sitting on the universal right there. Um, what do you think? You want to try to mill this down with a grinder? Or you want to try to mill that down in the actual mill, or do you think it's going to take both? Whatever we do to this one, we're going to have to do to all of them. Yeah. I don't think we're better trying to modify that. Um, modify this. You know how to use the mill? No. That makes two of us. I mean, I, I I know how, but I don't know how. <laughs> I, can, I can tell you this, I can probably go over there and destroy it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can do that. All right, well, we, we were bragging on our machining down here. Let's uh, yeah. find out what we can do over there. We're going to attempt to be machinists. Yeah. I mean, for our first time milling metal. That turned out pretty slick. 
That don't look bad at all, uh -huh. does it? Well, now let's see if it works. Now let's see if it works. We had to weld a little piece of the bottom to be able to hold it in the middle, but she conveniently turns into a nice little handle. Yeah. All right, let's see what this thing does. Did I put it on backwards? I did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I was just testing you. Oh, yeah. All right. But you got this handle you can... I know, that makes it so much easier, but I got these people in my hand. Oh, yeah. These people are heavy now. All right. Oh, I think she's down. She's down. The question is, does she turn? <laughs> Well, how are you gonna turn it? Same way we did before, I guess. We'll have to take those plugs off, though. Yeah, but how are you gonna? We grab the shaft down here. Oh yeah. The business end of this thing. Oh, it's turning. Oh, right there. We're hitting. That might be the bolt. Okay, we need to stop right there. All right. Pick it up and see what we're hitting. <laughs> it's just... oh. Yep, your fault. Now, that's hitting right there. <laughs> We're just gonna mill that out too. <laughs> uh, well, we got that clearing. Yeah, that's all clearing good. Well, the good news is I got the uh, whole thing up in the mill and I did a nice little dome on that. <laughs> the bad news is. If we shear a pin, we're going to have to go to the uh, parts store to get one. Yeah. <laughs> we're not going to have that in the bowl bin. All right, here we go again. All right. This is it. All right. That's full revolution. Full revolution. We didn't hit. Can we get our bolts in though? There, drop down. All right, should we turn it now? I'll use your, your bolts in. Yep. It's just hard for me to grab one-handed. Which way do I need? Either to way. Either way. It's a full revolution. Nope, we're hitting right there. Guess what it is now? The head. The head. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the head's too tall. I'm sure it'll clearance itself. I bet it will. It'll mill itself uh, self out there. Man, so close. behind the scenes, I decided to do the right thing and uh, go ahead and mill out another pocket right there. Yeah. So it's a better safe than sorry scenario. Yeah, I'll go with that. All yes. right, so I don't know if the third time is the charm, but maybe the 30th time is the charm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you go this way? Yep, goes that way. Oh, you want me to do well, it? I don't want to smash my pretty fingers first thing in the morning. It's we, getting easier and it is. easier to get on. It I is. Are like we just going to like bolt this thing down and then hope for the best? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Bolt went right in. All my bolts went right in. That means go. Everything's a hammer, right? You in? No. Yeah, I'm in. The only concern we have at this point is the damn... Uh, Bolts are gonna rub on something. I don't even wanna turn it. I just wanna think in my mind it works. Yeah, hey, hook it up. I think it's good. <laughs> I 
That's a full revolution right there. Should be good then. Right? Should be good. I mean, I'll listen. I didn't hear anything rubbing. Well, well, here's what we can do. This is not going to be ideal, but it should prove concept. You ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready for this. <laughs> you know it's going to be good, right? Yeah. What if we took and hooked this up to the remotes on that little tractor? Give her a little, give her a little juice, and see what happens. Then we're gonna do that out in the field too. <laughs> well, no, well, hopefully, eventually, we'll have it hooked to an excavator. But, uh, yep. I think before we go any farther, we need to make sure everything spins, everything clears, mm -hmm. make sure our blade runs true. Yeah. Make this thing come alive. <laughs> I think it matters which one goes where? Yes, it will. Well, not here, Walt. I was gonna say that was a joke. Holy cow, that's tight. It's like it's on a sweeper or something, got a crud in it. Uh, probably kitty litter. No, well, it was tarred coming off. All right, first. Yep. That's the hard one. Gosh dang, that is, where's the uh, wrench? Yeah. Size that. Uh, I'm gonna go with seven eighths. Here we go. Uh, you gonna put the blade on first or are you scared to? No, let's spin it first and just make sure nothing binds up. Chicken. Huh? One step at a time. <laughs> let's get small victories. Yeah. You ready? Tractor's gonna spin it fast enough to actually be able to cut anything. <laughs> you ready? Yep. Here we go. Watch. 
I mean, uh, trying to use that as a guide to see if it's, and it ain't nothing. There ain't nothing. And you wanted to take it to a machine shop. <laughs> well, I mean, parts of it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that, uh. If it wasn't that it was something dangerous like a saw blade, I'd be like, oh yeah, we can do it all. <laughs> I was a little nervous being that this is gonna be a flying saucer if we did something flying wrong. Saucer. Well, we do still have our uh, safety pin we can put in right there. Yeah. So worst case scenario, it's just gonna slip on the shaft and not come flying off, so. You think you can move a tree in here? And <laughs> <laughs> <the tractor? laughs> yeah. I think it did. Yeah. Well, man, behind the scenes, it's alive. It is alive. It is alive. So I think that's also unfortunately going to be a wrap on this video. But man, what some awesome progress. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's... We're getting somewhere now. It's borderline operational. And look how it just looks good. Like, it looks professional. Yeah. Like, I'm even impressed with ourselves, which is weird. All right. We're going to sit here and admire our work for a little bit. And then uh, we need to get back to it because we still got a lot more to do on this. What we got? We got to build a cover for our hoses. Yep. We got to build a kickstand. We got to build a handle to turn. We still got to build a brake assembly. We got a lot to do yet. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> the business end yeah. is complete. So, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, big old thumbs up. Want to make sure you don't miss out on how this turns out. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. That way we can catch you guys on the next one. Oh, she looks awesome. Yes, it does. Good morning, man, behind the scenes. Good morning. You got the door open, that's a good thing. Door yeah, yeah. The temperature has come out. out. Get fresh air and shop. The temperature has come out, but the precipitate. Uh, Morning, man, behind the scenes. Morning.